My friends, I just literally bought every single type of guitar pick from Europe's biggest music store and completely destroyed the package already. Some of the weirder guitar picks I will show you today got tons of one-star ratings. Let's see if they are really that bad. We will find out which of these is the absolute best one. And in the end, I will play all of them for you in a song so that we can finally find out if guitar picks really matter when it comes to tone. Before things get out of hand, let's start with a classic right here with the Dunlop Variety Pack. I think this might be the first pick set that I ever bought when I started out playing. <laughs> okay, so out of all those different standard picks in this set, I think this one is the most interesting one. So that's the one I'd like to take for a spin. So this one's quite interesting right away. I like how transparent it looks. As a chess free size player myself, it does feel a little bit clunky, of course, because it's a big pick. But what I like is that I get a lot of picking attack out of this pick without any big picking movements because it's quite stiff. So that's the advantage with bigger picks like this. That one feels pretty good. Okay, let's check out something a bit crazier. What about this thing? That's a black mountain pick with spring action. Should have brought some scissors for this video. All right, here it is. So this is supposed to be a thumb pick and a regular pick all in one. So I think I can just pretty much slide it on like this. Oh, wow, okay sticks to my thumb. So I'm just sliding my thumb through here and yeah, right now the pick is on my finger. So I can use it just like a thumb pick, but if I close my hand like this, I have a regular pick on my picking hand. You can immediately hear a softer picking attack compared to the previous pick. I'm actually quite surprised that the difference is this big. You will be able to hear a direct comparison between all picks later when I'm playing the song. It does feel a little bit awkward because there's some pressure on my thumb at all times. But I definitely do like this idea of having a thumb pick at all times. But then I can immediately go to a scale phrase if I want to. Okay, let's get into the really crazy looking ones up next. What about this? This is called the Herd Inflectrum Red Set and they look like this. When I was playing in Belfagor many years ago, I was actually playing those big triangle picks, but I've never seen one that looks like this before. I'm not even sure which side to use at the moment. So holding this kind of feels like holding a nacho. I'm getting hungry. They are super thin, so they are bending quite a lot when I'm playing. But the sound is very, very interesting. I never played thin picks like this that are this big. It's a very soft sound. And it feels pretty satisfying to play chords with this pick and to arpeggiate my picking strokes. It also works for sweep picking. They're not that great for fast alternate picking, but they're not exactly made for this. But I can definitely see myself using this pick for some kind of arpeggiated stuff. It has a really cool sound and maybe for some softer licks and lead parts. Okay, these are also interesting. I've never tried a shape like this. Those are the D'Andrea Pro Plex, 1.5 millimeters and a really, really interesting shape. So you got the traditional tip, I guess, but kind of a blocky square top. Let's see how that feels. So very soft picking attack once again because of the soft edges of this pick. I'm honestly quite amazed by how different they all sound and feel. I didn't expect it, especially concerning the sound. So this one sounds very silky, soft and smooth. You barely have any picking attack and this is really cool for any kind of fusion or jazz phrasing, I think. can barely hear the picking strokes. Very, very interesting. Okay, another really interesting one. Those are the pick boys. So these are carbon nylon picks, one millimeter, but as you can see, there's something quite interesting about them. There are a lot of holes in this pick. So apparently this is supposed to help with the grip of the pick. Okay, I can already kind of feel what they are going for. Now let's see if those are actually speed holes that allow me to play faster. Okay, you can clearly hear much, much sharper picking attack with this pick. So this might be a pretty good choice for metal or rock. You can hear that kind of scrapey sound with the lower strings, which is kind of cool when you play 
with a lot of distortion. I feel like I would have to get used to the holes a little bit. Feels a bit like sandpaper. But I could see myself giving this one a try for the more technical stuff. I just wish it was a little bit smaller. So what we have here apparently are some shark fin picks. So yeah, as the name suggests, this looks like a shark fin. I think you're supposed to hold them like this so that you have this weird area of the pick actually touching the strings. Let's see if I'm right. So these are pretty interesting and I hope I'm holding them correctly. I assume you're supposed to hold them like this and that this kind of shark fin part is mostly there so that you can hold the pick while you're finger picking. Very interesting. So the pick is super soft once again and it's bending quite a lot. With single notes you get that thin pick sound. It's a little bit more scrapey compared to the other thin picks we looked at. I guess mostly because this pick doesn't really have a tip. It's very very round. So it is kind of interesting. But I think I'd mostly use this one for chords and strumming. That has a pretty cool sound. Very interesting. Alright, I'm actually excited to try this one out. It's the Harley Benton finger pick set. I've never really tried traditional finger picks before. Those actually look pretty cool. You got a black one, dark blue, light blue and green. The green one looks like a thumb pick. I'm not an expert with this, but I learned some things already in this video. So let's see if I can actually play with those. Alright, so I have my thumb pick right here and also a pick for my index finger. So it feels pretty cool. I'm used to doing stuff like this only using my fingers and I get much more attack this way. Playing with those finger picks so it sounds a bit more aggressive. I'm still not sure if I'm using those correctly. I think every single professional finger picking player will probably cringe at what I'm doing here. The index finger pick feels pretty good, but the thumb one is cutting off my blood flow just a little bit. I would have to make it less tight by stretching it, but overall very interesting stuff. Then we have some interesting signature picks that I had to get. I guess I actually started playing guitar because of this guy. And this is quite interesting because my favorite pick size is also jazz free, but those look a little bit different, right? So I'm not quite sure yet if this is just for looks or if this does anything for the pick grip while you're playing. Now this one should feel a little bit more close to home. Very interesting. I think those are even smaller than the jazz free size picks that I usually use. So they are pretty good for shredding, but I'm not quite sure about the hard shape. I think this is a purely aesthetic choice because it doesn't do much for the pick grip, but it's not bad. Feels pretty familiar. Let's go for something big up next. What about those? That's the Harley Benton big triangle pick set. So I think that's actually pretty close to what I played in Belfigor back then, those huge triangle picks. There was a lot of tremolo picking, so this kind of helped with picking a lot of strings at the same time at a very fast tempo. Let's see if I still know how to use those. Yeah, big picking attack, although it's a pretty thin pick. Once again, it feels a bit like holding a nacho. And it's interesting that you get so much attack out of such a thin pick. It's 0.71 millimeters. Same also goes for single notes. This is surprisingly loud. And due to the size, it's a bit difficult to control it, but not impossible. Pretty cool. So picks like this are not just for bass players. I know that they are quite common for metal bass players because they play a lot of 16th note stuff. You can get a lot of attack out of that without using too much picking power. But don't be fooled by the shape. You can also use it for intricated lines and for shredding. Then we have another classic shape that I actually never tried out. Those are the Fender teardrop picks. And once again, the name doesn't disappoint kind of as a teardrop shape. So I guess when I try those right now, a lot of the pick will stick out. Super soft picking attack. Maybe the softest pick that we had so far, which is interesting because it's relatively big, quite long. With the lower strings, you get a pretty interesting sound. You get a bit of that scrape, but it's not annoying. It sounds pretty cool, actually. It's 
a little bit awkward for me to hold them because they're so long. And the way that I'm playing, I usually make sure that just the tip of the pick is sticking out so that I can easily transition in between the strings. And when I hold them this way, they're moving around quite a lot. But I really do like the sound of these, so maybe I can find some kind of application. Okay, I have a bone to pick with you right now. No, wait, I have a bone pick for you right now. So this is the Harley Benton PB1 bone pick. It's really made out of bone apparently and quite thick, three millimeters. The first interesting thing that I noticed is that they carved out part of the pick right here. And I think that's, yeah, that's where your index finger goes. Feels pretty good, although it's a massive pick. The only thing I see right here, if I put my index finger in this carved out space, a lot of the pick is sticking out like this. So the bone pick is absolutely massive. Maybe you can see it in the video. With three millimeters, it's the biggest pick we have today. And you can see this kind of part that they cut out so that my index finger fits in here. As I expected, pretty big picking attack with this one. Might be a good choice for any kind of metal riffing. The only thing I don't really like is that the pick is telling me how to hold it. For my playing style, I would get better results if I could push it back a little bit further. When I flip it around, it also feels weird because now my thumb is kind of in this area. So it's a pretty cool, chunky, loud, big pick. I just wish I could hold it like I want to hold it. Then we have a really interesting package. Those are the Deva control picks. And the package says, warning may improve your playing technique. So with those picks, you have a rubber surface, which is nice for the pick grip, I guess. But in this case, you can actually influence the thickness or the feeling of the pick at least. So apparently if you grab it in the back right here, it's a pretty floppy, soft pick. But if you grab it, closer to the pick it gets pretty hard because you're not grabbing the rubber anymore you're just grabbing the plastic okay i can feel how it's bending a little bit it feels similar to the softer picks that we have played so the feeling is similar to those softer picks but the sound is kind of the same of course and now we'll take it closer to the tip feels kind of Similar, a little bit different, but it's an interesting concept and at least that kind of rubber surface really helps with the pick grip. And of course, I saved the best for last. What about this epic looking pick box? That looks pretty great actually. I wonder who designed it. Yeah, you can already see my logo right here. <laughs> Shameless plug and big surprise. Those are my Jazz 3 signature guitar picks. They come in this pretty handy, cool looking pick box. If you're a guitar player like me, you always lose your guitar picks. So I thought it's a pretty good idea to have a box for them. Once you open it up, you will see five awesome looking guitar picks, double-sided print for each one. This is my preferred pick size, Jazz 3 picks. They are pretty hard so that you don't have to fight against your strings with a floppy pick. That's not that great for technical guitar playing and shredding. So I personally can't recommend getting them enough. They are really, really cool and I really love the box as well. You can get them in my Shopify store with the link down below. Thanks so much to the guys at thepigshouse.com at this point for making those. I'm super happy with the quality of them and also everyone that ordered them so far. If you want your own signature picks like this, you can go to thepigshouse.com yourself. I added the link down below and you can add my promo code BER10 for an epic discount. So last but not least, my signature picks. This is one of my favorite designs. It's the Flow one from the song Flow. So this is what feels natural for me. I have the most amount of control with these picks, with my fast alternate picking, also with my sweep picking. And compared to other jazz free picks, they don't have that annoying scrape. So even when I'm shredding on the lowest strings, I have the maximum amount of clarity. So if you want the best guitar picks for technique oriented playing, get one of those. All right, so now that we tried out all of those different picks, let's do a practical side-by-side -side comparison to find out if all those interesting shapes and materials actually affect the tone. This is my new song called Ethereal.
My friends, that was my new song called Ethereal. It's out on all streaming platforms today. You can find the link down below. Give it a listen if you love guitar music. I will see you next week. Have an awesome day. Happy holidays and bye-bye.